Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earthpen. This time, we will be having another series of discussion, and it will be all about the building block of matter. Atoms. But before we begin the discussion, if you would like to encourage us to produce more educational content, please show your support by giving a like to the video and subscribing to our channel. You can also help our team grow with your monetary support through our donation PayPal link located in the description below. Once again, atoms are the building block of matter, which are the solids, the liquids, and the gases. Basically, this means that atoms made up everything in our universe even including ourselves. Atoms are the smallest distinguishable particle according to its properties and characteristics. Its name came from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible. This is because atoms are the smallest stable unit of matter and we cannot further divide it into smaller parts. But thanks to Sir William Crookes, who invented the Crookes tube in 1869, he was a British physicist who was able to discover that an atom or each of the atoms is made up of the same three subatomic particles. He discovered this when he applied a high voltage on the two different electrodes, which is the cathode or the negatively charged electrode and the anode which is the positively charged electrode. He observed that during the voltage application, electrodes are emitted from the cathode and proceed to the anode. With further investigation, he found out that all of the atoms are individually made up of the same subatomic particles, which are the electrons, protons, and neutrons. These subatomic particles make every type of atom distinct because every atom has its own constant number of electrons, protons, and neutrons. Scientists later on were able to develop several models of an atom structure, but this picture or this atom structure model is commonly used for better understanding. As we can see, the nucleus of our atom is in the center, and it is composed of protons and neutrons. The orbital path around the nucleus is the orbital path of the electrons that surrounds the nucleus. But in reality, take note of this emphasis. The orbital paths an electron could take is infinite, creating an electron cloud around the nucleus in an actual atomic photographs. But, theoretically, this atom model is pretty good enough to understand for learning purposes. So, what are the properties and characteristics of these subatomic particles? For the electrons, it was Joseph John Thompson who initially distinguished the characteristic of electrons. He was a British physicist who used the same experimental device of Sir William Crookes, the Crookes tube in the year 1897. He found out that the cathode rays or the negative electrodes were over 1,000 times lighter than a hydrogen atom. He also clarified that the mass of all the cathode rays remained the same despite having different sources of atom. Thompson then concluded that the cathode rays were very tiny and it's a negatively charged particle. He initially called this as corpuscles, which we now call as electrons. The mass of the electrons is 9.110 times 10 to the power of negative 28 grams. The exact size of an electron is still wasn't figured out, but it could be estimated to be approximately less than 10 to the power of negative 12 cm in diameter. It is around 1,800 times smaller than the neutrons and protons. 
Let us now proceed to the photons. Eugene Goldstein, a German physicist, was the first to discover that photons exist. He performed an experiment in 1886 with a modified cathode ray tube constructed from a metal disc with holes. He saw the positive rays behind the cathode as well as the stream of electrons released by the cathode. As cathode rays knocked electrons out of neutral gaseous atoms, positive charges were produced. Different particles were formed when different gases were used. When hydrogen gas was used, all of the positive charges were multiples of the value received. However, it was Joseph John Thomson who discovered the proton's existence. He measured the proton's mass to be about 1,837 times that of an electron, showing that it is a particle. Its relative charge, or positive one, is the same magnitude as the electron's charge but has the opposite symbol. The proton has a mass that is just slightly smaller than that of a hydrogen atom. A proton's relative mass is 1 AMU, while its real mass is 1.67310 times negative 24 grams. Lastly, are the neutrons which were discovered by James Chadwick in 1932. This particle has a relative mass of about 1 AMU and has neither a positive nor a negative charge. It has a mass of 1.67510 times negative 24 grams, which is slightly greater than a proton. These subatomic particles compose an atom. They are indivisible from each other since they are electrically attracted to each other by their distinctive charges. Proton is positively charged together with neutron which is neutrally charged in the nucleus. Outside the nucleus is the orbiting electron which is negatively charged and attracted to the positively charged nucleus. These subatomic particles are made up of all atoms, yet we have various distinct atoms. This is because every atom has a distinct number of subatomic particles, which affects its properties and characteristics. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something from us today. Once again, this is EarthPen. Learning has never been this easy. For anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day!